it, it kind of reminded me of, uh, kind of put me in the mind of Trespass. Do you ever see Trespass with Ice T and Ice Cube when they was going up against Bill Paxson and William Sadler? It kind of, it kind of had a um, Trespass feel to it, along with a little bit of Die Hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all so i just got out of 1992 this is my fresh out of the theater reaction so i didn't have time to marinate on it think on it and write notes and well i don't write any notes anyway this is just uh straight up out of the theater what are my thoughts on this movie i enjoyed this and i had a feeling it was gonna be good you know i mean this movie had some stuff going against it because it's uh, i think Lion lionsgate did this starring tyrese who's not exactly I don't want to say he's not star material, but to like to lead his own film, the films that he did lead didn't do too good or got limited releases. So I'm like, eh, Tyrese starring vehicle, Lionsgate, but you know what? I want to support, you know what I'm saying? Because despite what the internet says about him, how they diss him, how they laugh at him, I like the brother. I just watched his interview the other day on Club Shay Shay and Tyrese seemed like a real nigga, man. He seemed like a real nigga. Like he a West Coast dude, but I can see him just hanging around any group of black people and it can fit right in. He has like all of our, all of our tendencies, man, all of our mannerisms and shit. So I fuck with Tyrese, man. You know, he's invited to the barbecue. He's invited to play spades and dominoes. Let's go. The movie is a crime thriller, right? So it takes place in 1992. Of course, that's the name of the film. And is the, uh, it's during the Rodney King verdict. Okay. So if you know, you know, okay. The Rodney King verdict happened and it didn't go the way people thought it was going to go. And black people rioted. Now, I didn't live in L.A., but I saw footage of the riots. And I could just imagine how crazy it was out there. So I'm assuming the film did a good job as far as capturing the the essence, the spirit of what happened at that time and how crazy it was. So the, I think the film did a good job of that. But like I said, I wasn't there. So only somebody from L.A. can really um, say how authentic it was, right? So, L.A. is the backdrop of this, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, there's these two conflicts going on between you have Tyrese and his son. You know, Tyrese is an OG, triple OG gangster that just got out of jail. He's trying to reconnect with his son. His son's trying to be out there in the streets. He's an angry youth, you know what I'm saying? And Tyrese is trying to be the responsible father and be there for his son. On the other side, you got this crime family headed by Ray Liotta, and he has his two sons with him and a crew, and they want to rob this place of platinum so they could be rich. Of course, well, why else would anybody want to rob a fucking, uh, what kind of plant that is, all right? So they, they want to get all this platinum, become rich, and live happily ever after. So these are two different people from two different walks of life, but of course, as it all comes to a head, they end up meeting. In a, in a twist of fate, they end up meeting, and stuff goes down. I really enjoyed this. This is like a, a, a damn near perfect crime thriller. And I had to look up the director's names. I'm like, man, I said, this is this is well, really well directed. This, this motherfucker must have did some crime movies before. And I looked up the director's name is Ariel, almost said Ariel Hawani. Uh, that's the, the UFC guy, but Ariel something. And I looked up his resume and he has done crime thrillers before. And this is a really good crime thriller. I, I have no issues with this movie. Okay, even putting my so-called critic hat on. I had no issues with this movie. I thought the pacing was done very well. Uh, the performances, Tyrese dials it in. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this. Tyrese has been never been known as a thespian actor. Okay, we know him from Transformers. We know him as the nonstop talking, um, what's his name in Fast and the Furious? You know what I'm saying? This dude is like, he's not really known as a leading man. And, you know, and plus with the internet, how they just dismantled this brother, make him look like he's a weak punk but I doubt that he's he's that. But in this movie, he plays the strong silent type. He plays a strong character. He's an OG, triple OG, and it's believable. You believe he's a badass. He's a man of few words, okay? But when he speaks, he means what he's saying. He say what he mean. And he just dictates that. He dictates that respect. You know what I'm saying? So I thought Tyrese did a great job here playing a, a real alpha. And Ray Liotta... 
is as gangster as ever. Come on, man. Henry Hill. What's the movie uh, where he played um, Boston George's daddy in the movie Blow? You know what I'm saying? Ray Liotta's a legend, man. And he really goes for it here as, as a bad guy, as a gangster. And, man, it was bittersweet watching this performance because it's the last time we're going to see Ray Liotta in a new film. And I thought this was a perfect swan song for him because he did his thing. So with him and Tyrese playing two alphas, it was like the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. And I was really entertained. I, I There was no downtime here. I didn't fall asleep not one time. Um, if I could have any gripes, I wish it would have captured more of, of 92 itself. I mean, like I said, with the riots, I think it did do a good job of, of capturing how the riots were. But... I wish it would have implemented more of the music, more of the fashion. I wanted it to feel like 1992. It didn't feel like 1992. It felt like a movie based on 1992, but in today's times, because they even used new music, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but other than that, I really enjoyed this film. I recommend going to watch it. It's This is my kind of movie, my kind of, you know, it, it kind of reminded me of, uh, kind of put me in the mind of Trespass. Did you ever see Trespass with Ice-T and Ice Cube when it was going up against Bill Paxson and William Sadler, it kind of it kind of had a um, trespass feel to it, along with a little bit of Die Hard. You know what I'm saying? It um uh, and I I just really enjoyed it. Okay, I forgot to put this in too, y'all. Yeah, uh, there is a scene in this movie that will piss you off. Okay, and <laughs> I yelled out loud in the theater. I said, you know, I said fuck the police, and praying there wasn't a cop in there to fuck me up. But yeah, there's a scene in here that really shows the police in a in a bad light and. If you're one of those back to blue type people, you're probably going to get offended. But hell, the, those were the times. I know what it's like to be profiled by a cop, so damn it, I could speak on it. Yes, there's some accuracy to that scene. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave out of here with that. So that's it, and that's all, y'all. 1992, I recommend it. Uh, as, uh, as far as other releases this week, what else came out? AI? AI something, which I was supposed to be checking out uh, tomorrow. But um, yeah, then there's that. Uh, black demon possession movie that's on netflix but yeah, if you're gonna go to the cinemas i recommend checking this one out all right no, don't let don't let tyrese discourage you from going to see this tyrese actually does a good job here all right so don't don't let his shenanigans on the internet fuck with your brain and make you miss out on this this is a, a dope film and i give it an a all right and that's it and that's all have you seen it already comment feel below let me know what you thought if you like it dig this content hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner this is rashad g signing out see you in the next video